Shark scientist Richard Fitzpatrick and filmmaker Mike Degree are trying to capture a tiger shark. They want to tag it and track it by satellite. When the shark swims close to the boat, we lean over at the pole and snap this over the tail. Got it! Got it! Richard moves in and steadies her. There are no hard feelings. It's a clean break, and K.O. swims off. This tiger passes the bait box and heads for the inflatable. Richard's ready to claw its tail, but the shark turns the tables. Oh, yes. Did he fall in the water? The shark knocks Richard out with his own pole. Is he all right, Mike? Just relax. Oh, yeah, I'm right. oh, just relax. Oh. One sec, one sec. We got the shark. We got the shark. Just sit for a sec. Then we're going to get up and either take you back to the boat or deal with the shark. Don't worry about it. That hurt. Oh. Yeah, I bet it did. Just sit. Just cool it. So getting a camera under the back of the shark, it's all about trying to get the shark to show us what it does. Natural behavior. Grey reef sharks are really feisty at the moment, so it's a really good opportunity for us to try and get a grey reef onto the boat. Richard doesn't want to hurt the shark with hooks. Duck board down, please, Pete. So what we're going to do is get tuna heads, big tuna heads, put a rope on them, throw them in the water, and try and tease the shark onto the duck board. And then we can hit the hydraulics, raise the platform, and pull the shark out of the water. Seconds. The plan has worked, but the shark can only survive out of the water for a few minutes. Better get clamped on! Full body right there! Richard must try and get the camera on the shark's fin as fast as possible. Oh God, these things are powerful! Grey reefs are just one solid ball of muscle. And you can see it takes three of us to hold one down. And it takes one of us to capture a, a five meter tiger. They don't look big, but these things are powerful and fast. Just right here, right behind, I had an incident a couple of years ago. One shark decided to attack, and because one shark went, all the others went in as well. So I had about 15 sharks attacking me at the same time. This is actual footage Richard shot while being attacked. I had one shark was biting my calf muscle. And I was trying to keep that one off spinning in the water while at the same time smacking all the other sharks in the head with the camera. And the whole thing ended in about 15 seconds. Um, to me, the whole event seemed like hours. And I'm waiting for the shark to get in the right position where it's nuz nuzzling into the cradle. And I can swim up behind it, and I've got a noose tied around my wrist. And I'll just grab the shark by the tail, transfer the noose onto the base of the tail, pull the rope tight, and just hang on to it. By controlling the shark's tail underwater, it can't swim. Okay. But there's still plenty of fight. That's how you catch sharks with red hooks. These white tips may not be great whites, but Richard takes this business seriously. OK, here we go. Blue board, Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. A local fisherman's death, a chilling reminder. It doesn't take a big shark to kill a person. The last one Jamie and myself were involved with for the, um, for the coroner was a spear fisherman. And he was bitten by a small shark, smaller than the ones we're working at the moment. It came up between his legs, bit him on the inside of the leg, got the femoral artery. He bled out. He was dead in three minutes. The thing we really have to be careful of up here are the dangerous animals. Around the campsite, we can have snakes and spiders, but the most dangerous thing we're going to have to face up here are the saltwater crocodiles. These are big reptiles. Just remember, they could be really deep in the middle. Really deep? And really deep. Hey, <laughs> it was deep. I told you it was deep. <laughs> this has got to be 
gonna be the biggest olive sea snake I've ever seen in my life. Look at the size of it! What a cracker! That'll do, it'll have more venom in it than we know what to do with. Here it comes. Whatever you do, do not get bitten, okay? We don't wanna have to fly out of here. Their bite can kill. They're one of the most venomous sea snakes in the world. But when not provoked, olive sea snakes are a very chilled out species. Pretty docile. Just sitting around. <laughs> there he goes. Lucky they're quite placid nature. Even though they're highly venomous, they're a very placid animal, which is lucky for me. So how do you want to do this? You're just going to catch him and put him in the bag? Okay, okay, go fast, go. Go, 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 go. Keep going, get the whole body in there. Quick, quick, quick. Draw it shut, draw it shut. Right, I got it. Woo! Excellent. This is where the big fang snakes, like vipers and stuff, are a lot easier to do and safer, actually. There it is. Oh, look at that there load of venom. First, Richard takes an aerial census of turtles and sharks around the island. Now he needs to get the camera and himself safely back on board. With no place to land the chopper, he has to jump for it. You know, I think he's going to get out. Oh, there he goes. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I forgot the pizza. 